Greetings and salutations. I am your humble Adobe instructor, AJ Wood, and we're talking Lightroom 3. Today's lesson is brought to you by MediaCats, your leading resource for instructor led training. If you've been having lens issues, optical distortions, chromatic aberrations, or maybe some vignettes, you're going to really appreciate the new lens correction panel inside of Lightroom 3. Let's go ahead and jump in. You can see I have an image open. I'm in the develop module and I have the lens correction panel in front of me. I'm going to start by enabling profile corrections. And in my case, Lightroom was unable to automatically match a profile. Now that's not an issue because I'll just choose my Canon lens and it does find the proper 24 to 105 lens. I could go ahead and make adjustments to the barrel distortion, aberrations, and vignette, but I'm going to leave the default amounts of 100 across the board. Now I can go less than 100 for less of an adjustment, or I can go over 100 for a stronger adjustment. Okay? You'll notice when I'm uh, on the distortion setting, it gives me a grid. Okay? I want you to see the adjustment that's been made. So this is before, and this is after. All right, once again, this is before and this is after. So if your lens is available in the profile list, you can really just load and go. Now I want to show you, you also have a manual section. So if I change to the manual section, I can actually further make changes. So I can do some barrel distortion of my own or some pin cushioning there if I actually wanted to just do some crazy uh, wacky adjustments. I can also change the vertical or the horizontal scale of the image. Okay. And I want you to see, I'm just going to do a crazy adjustment here for a second. All right. Just as a reminder, you can double click on the name of the adjustment or double click on the fader of the adjustment to actually reset. If you hold the Option key on a Mac or the Alt key on a PC, you can actually reset an entire section. Okay. So once again, I'm just going to do a couple adjustments here. And I want to go over to the profile section. And notice now it says custom. Okay? A key thing I want to point out, this is a gotcha. Take a look and notice it says save new lens profile default. I want to be very clear here. If you choose that, a lot of people are getting confused. They think that means save to this particular lens profile I have loaded. And that's not the case. If you choose save new lens profile default, you're just saving to the lens correction panel. So if I make that change right now and say save this, my default setting is going to be a Canon 24 to 105 lens with the distortion set to 200. Um, if I go ahead and choose a different lens, I'll choose a Sigma, I'll choose this crazy fisheye lens, that's certainly not the distortion I want, but if I go back to setup and choose default, it switches to my Canon lens. So this just means that every time I do lens correction, maybe perhaps that lens is the one I use the most. Now I don't have to keep picking it from the list. Right? So let's be real clear. Setting the lens profile default is for the lens correction panel. It's not for each individual profile. Right? Um, what happens if your lens isn't in the list? What if you look in the list and your lens isn't there? I'm glad you asked the question. You can actually go out to Adobe Labs and if you go to Adobe Labs, you can actually download the Adobe Lens Profile Creator and you can shoot some calibrated targets and you can make your own lens profile. You can keep it to yourself or certainly put it out on the internet and share it with others. So that's been some of the new lens correction features inside of Lightroom 3. My name is AJ Wood. As always, appreciate you being here. Have a wonderful day.